Go there and speak to Tom Norton. He's a Republican candidate for Congress. Tom, thank you so much indeed for your time. Uh, who do you believe more, the president or the scientists? Well, you got to ask which scientists you're asking on there. I support the president. There's some scientists that are taking this overboard. We had 59,000 people die of the flu last year. And if you look at countries like Sweden and other areas that are actually practicing social distancing without all these lockdowns and 50% restrictions on restaurants and bars and things of that nature and actually using real human education, they seem to be doing quite well without spreading the virus. So the balanced approach, I believe that President Trump is listening to scientists. Well, in Sweden, the government has almost pretty much admitted that it's made a mistake. It certainly says that it wasn't properly prepared because Sweden, you are right to point out that it didn't practice social distancing. At least it didn't impose the rules on its people and said you should use your common sense to practice social distancing. And now they're being hit particularly hard. In fact, they're the hardest hit Nordic country in that part of the world. So maybe that's not the best example. Tom, what about the people at Harvard? There's a scientist at Harvard who says that if we don't follow the science, we're looking at possibly having some sort of social distancing in place for another two years. You see the point, of course, that Dr. Fauci is making, don't you? Is that there could be a second wave of infections. What happens if people in Michigan get their way, those who are protesting, and go back to work, and then a second wave comes? I think that coronavirus isn't going anywhere. The social distancing is something I think is going to stick around for a long time. Actually, that's why my campaign built a social distancing clipboard so we can campaign and practice the social distancing. So I think that the actually making sure that we have hand sanitizers, washing our hands, washing our faces, and practicing social distancing is something that isn't going to go away, to be quite honest. So anything that Dr. Fauci is talking about is something that's already here. We can't avoid it. If we're going to try to avoid it and ignore that it's going to continue to be here, then we got a real problem on it. The president's even talking about continued social distancing for a long period of time. And there's some scientists that have also said that the uh, coronavirus has been overplayed to a degree. I know one individual, he came back with, well, she came back with a false test or a false net or a negative. And the doctor said, well, you have all the symptoms, so we're going to declare it the coronavirus. That's a firsthand story just for me. So I think social distancing's here to stay for quite a long time. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So that narrative isn't there. The folks in Michigan are saying, hey, you're letting people buy pot, but you won't let them buy paint. That doesn't make any sense at all. You won't let them go fishing with a motorboat. They want to be able to go fishing. And the majority of Michigan folks want to go back to work. And they're going to practice social distancing anyway. So we're not saying we're not going to social distance. What we're saying in these protests is let us work. Let us take care of ourselves because we're human beings and the suicides are going through the roof as well. And that's something that's being very, very underreported. Tom, we're only talking about another 10 days or so, aren't we? Uh, are people not prepared to wait another week and a half to make sure that the curve is properly flattened and that there is capacity in Michigan's hospitals? I mean, more than half the counties across the United States don't have, even have intensive care beds. You're lucky. Michigan's pretty well developed. You've got some big cities there. But can people not wait for another 10 days and then take it slowly from there? Well, once you release them out, the virus is going to spread again a little bit anyway. It's how viruses work. It's going to be around here next year. It's not going to go anywhere. It's here for the long haul. In Michigan, we didn't react properly anyway. We have a chemical and biological warfare unit right here in the state of Michigan. We could have activated the National Guard units at 50% capacity across the entire state and the entire country with the medical units coming into action in order to help address the virus that spread in the first place. But instead, we all wanted to throw up our hands and surrender. In a matter of fact, the majority of hospitals are actually laying people off because they aren't busy. So the United States does have the medical capacity because we have a capitalistic health care system. Tom, thank you so much indeed for your time. Really appreciate it. Tom Norton, who's running for Congress in the state of Michigan.